this introducing some spelling your, your last name for the record. Sure. My name is Yankee Hunter. My last name is spelled H-U-N-T-E-R. Ms. Hunter, what do you do for me? I'm, I'm in a really good place right now. Um, I would say that I'm living the dream. I'm, I'm finally working for the Midland Boys, which is exactly where I want to be. What's the Midland Boys? Only the top circulating newspaper in the greater Midland area, and I am so proud to work for them. Just last week, we published an article, Man in Boxes, Leads Police on Greece Chase. There's been a lot of follow about that one, actually. It's been super popular. What is your job at the news I'm a writer. Well, I mean, I guess technically I work for a writer. I'm an intern, so I still get a coffee and donuts in the morning, but uh, I still do what I was doing before, which is working at Rock the World. When did you work at Rock the World? Uh, 2009, 2010, 2011, and then part of 2012 as well. I guess you could say I worked there just long enough to figure out how unamusing it was and I didn't have to go to leave. Ms. Hunter, and what was your job at Rock the World? That depends on what year you're asking about. Uh, the first year I was strictly clean and crew, which as it turns out is the worst job literally anyone can have ever. Um, but that, that, did, that wasn't true for the rest of the years. And what about the following year? What did you do? As character building as it was, cleaning up people's messes day after day at amusement parks, um, I wasn't necessarily interested in doing that again the following year. So when they offered me a, a position as a floating ride operator, I jumped all over that. I figured I'd give that a shot. Well, Ms. Hunter, what was your duties as a floating ride operator? I pretty much was responsible for pushing buttons on a control panel for people who had better things to do. So when people were sick or had to take a break or didn't show up for work, which happened a lot more than you would like to think. But yeah, I just filled in for people. Well, Ms. Hunter, were you <coughs> trained to be a floating ride operator? Yes, uh, I did receive some training. Uh, some of the rides were a little bit more difficult to deal with than others, but I, I managed. Did you have any safety training? Yeah. Right. What were you trained to do in case of an emergency? Uh, in the case of the emergency, we are supposed to initiate the emergency switch on the ride uh, that we're working, but uh, that, that can be a little bit easier said than done. Why is that? Well, uh, none of the rides at Rock the World are the same. So they all have different control panels and different buttons, gears, levers, switches. Uh, they can get pretty easily confused, to be honest with you. And now you said you worked at Rock the World. Uh, while you were working there, did you ever know an uh, employee by the name of Whit Bowman? I did have the opportunity to meet Whit, yeah. Uh, she worked there the uh, season of 2012 with me, uh, you know, before I uh, made it as big-time newspaper reporter. Well, an intern for a big-time newspaper reporter. I'm working on it. Ms. Hunter, to your knowledge, what job did Whit Bowman have at Rock the World? Uh, during the 2012 season when I worked with her, uh, she was trained as a ride operator like you. And you said that you are a floating ride operator. As a floating ride operator, have you ever worked for a ride at Mine Racer before? Yeah, I have a bunch of times. A bunch of times, actually. Have you ever worked for a ride with Tom Shore before? I have. And would you recognize those control panels if I showed you so you can take that? I'm sure I would. Well, the record says I'm safely approaching the high school. Is there a safety here? at the mind eraser, did you prepare to be a fair and accurate copy of the control panel as you saw it when you were working at Rock the World? Actually, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's clearly got all the procedures, so I thought I'd throw it in there. Looking at the panels here, did you prepare to be a fair and accurate copy of the control panel as when you worked at Rock the World? It, it does. It's exactly the same. Well, since you need to admit the fence is going <coughs> to be into evidence. Any questions I would have Your Honor, today is case, the prosecution, they have to prove today that Whit Bowman, working the ride with Tunnel of Terror, uh, put this ride into blackout mode. Now, 
if I may make an offer of proof. This witness will testify as to what Bowman, she worked to survive the mind eraser, and on August 30th, she worked to survive the, uh, the tunnel chair, and that it's easy to make a mistake if you are if you are working these lives. And that's something that they have to prove, that it was not a mistake. So it is relevant to this case to show that it could possibly be a mistake. Can I do this one? The Pierce Valley Wicked Meat Hunter worked at Rock and Roll until the beginning of the season in 2012. The incident that Ms. Harris is talking about took place at the end of the summer of 2012. The hunter was no longer an employee and did not know the exact functions of that ride in the end of the summer. She's aware of what happened in the beginning of the summer of 2012, but she has no knowledge of what could have changed, and therefore these photos are irrelevant. Thank you, Your Honor. She, if these lives are at Rock to Roll and they are present, they were present in 2012 throughout the whole entire year, Your Honor, and she will explain how those lives function. And that is relevant to today's case because, as I said, they will tend to prove that it was a mistake, which is one of the burdens that the prosecution may have to prove today, that it wasn't a mistake. Thank you, Judge. The mistake that Ms. Harris is alluding to happened on August 30th. Ms. Hunter was not an employee on August 30th. She had not worked at Rock Hill for almost the whole summer of 2012. She had not had the personal knowledge to know what was going on, and therefore these photos are irrelevant. Can you respond to that? Your Honor, she has the personal knowledge of these lives. As she has already stated, and they've been moved into evidence, they're going to be moved into evidence. Your Honor, if she knows these lives, she knows the functions of these lives, as she is already attested to today. She knows these lives from her experience at Rock Hill when she worked there. However, they're using these photos to prove something that happened on August 30th. Ms. Hunter was not working at Rockville that day. She was working in the township of La Pierre at the time that she went there, saw, last saw them, to an event that happened some years later. And uh, I don't have anything to tie up what, uh, how they were then as to how they were on the day of this occurrence. Yes, so Yes, sir. Yes. And now, uh, Ms. Hunter, uh, while you were working there, those were the controls. That's how the controls looked, correct? Yeah, 2012 was exactly what the controls looked like. Now, yeah. over that summer, did you ever happen to uh, see the control panels ever again? Uh, during 2012, I, I did work at Rock the World, so yeah, I, I, I saw these every day that I was there. After uh, you, uh, after you were let go, did you ever see those control panels ever again? I mean, I did visit the park a couple times with some friends. And did you ever notice any other lives that were put into Rock the World? Um, no. These were these were ones that I was familiar with when I worked there in 2012. So, to your knowledge, there were no new improvements when you went back and visited that park. I'm guessing lack of personal knowledge. To your knowledge, when you visit that park, there were no new in, there were no new um, rides or no rides in that park. And I was there, no, not that I noticed anyway. To your knowledge, there were no changes that you could see visibly at that park. As, as a visitor to the park, after uh, no, I didn't notice anything different. You are not the time and space, the difference in these difference A and B and C. And one of our witnesses 
legislators that you're claiming that the August 20th rent control plan was the exact same as she saw it, your answer. So it can be, it can come in because it's conditionally relevant and later on you will prove that this, this control panel is the exact same as how she saw it and the exact same as it was on August 30th, 2012. And furthermore, your honor, this goes to the rate, not admissibility. There is no testimony today that in fact those control panels are the same as they were on August 30th. This witness would have no knowledge of that those control panels remain the same from the beginning of 2012 to August 30th, 2012. Ms. Harris is using these control panels to prove actions on August 30th, 2012. Your honor, I'm not, we are not using this action to prove that, to prove actions on August 30th. We are trying to prove, we are trying to say that, we're just trying to look at how these two control panels work as they were two rides that Rick Bowman did work in in the summer of 2012, your honor. Thank you. I see I'm out of time, but this is irrelevant. You have not to respond to that, correct? Correct. All right. As I hear you say, you feel that you can tie this up with another witness. Yes, sir. On that basis, I'm going to go with the committee of judges. Your honor, I'm Christina Hoffman. The defense used to admit defense exhibit A and B into evidence. Now, I brought along a bigger version of those exhibits when the witness stepped down and refused to demonstrate. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
um, to your knowledge, what ride did Rick Bowman normally book? Every time I stopped at Bowman, uh, I, I knew that she was supposed to be within the, the mind group. That's one that she was trained on uh, when we took uh, you know, the ride operator uh, training when we did it over the weekend. So she was pretty normal to the mind group. And Natasha, I want to talk to you a little bit about what you saw over the summer of 2012. Sure. Over the summer of 2012, did you ever see Rick Bowman take and receive any money or victim protections? No. No, I didn't. Did you ever see Rick Bowman take and receive any money from Kevin Schultz? No. Did you ever see Rick Bowman take and receive any money, any victim from Kevin Schultz? No, I can't say that I ever saw that. In 2012, to your knowledge, who was the ticket booth operator? That, that would have been Kim Winkle. He was the ticket booth operator. Thank you. I'll take time out of my program.